let's be very clear. Nothing has changed about Donald Trump's position on dealing with illegal immigration. He put this issue at the center of this presidential campaign in the Republican primaries. And his position and his principles have been absolutely consistent. We're going to secure the border. We're going to build a wall, have a physical barrier. We're going to enforce the laws of this country, end sanctuary cities, uh, implement E-Verify. Uh, and we will have a mechanism uh, for dealing with people in this country that you heard the word humanely again. It's going to be fair. It's going to be tough. But there'll be no path to legalization, no path to citizenship unless people leave the country. He said that very consistently. The contrast with Hillary Clinton, who supports amnesty, open borders, who wants to implement executive amnesty again on mm -hmm. day one, even though the Supreme Court of the United States rejected it, and Hillary Clinton, who wants to increase refugees from the terrorist-torn country of Syria by 550 percent. The choice yeah. could not be more clear for the American people. Ex Donald Trump has been completely consistent in his positions, Jake. Except on this issue, I understand everything you're saying there, but the one issue that you didn't really address is whether or not the 11 or 12 million undocumented immigrants will be removed by a deportation force, as you heard Mr. Trump say in that clip from November of last year. Is that policy still operative? Well, what, what you heard him describe there uh, in his usual plain-spoken American way was a mechanism, not a policy. I mean, you're going to hear more detail in the next uh, two weeks that lays out all the policies, but there will be no change in the principle here that Donald Trump wants uh, to, to make it clear to the American people that while Hillary Clinton is committed to open borders and amnesty and executive amnesty and, and more of the same that has really uh, harmed our economy and frankly, as he said, with regard to dangerous individuals in this country, has cost American lives.